Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see rectifiers. So already we have seen what is regulated DC power supply, what is the difference between DC power supply and DC power supply. So we have seen what is regulated DC power supply, what is the difference between and what is the need of that one, and what is the difference between AC, pulsating DC, and pure DC. In this one, we are going to see um, the the heart of the regulated DC power supply. It is nothing but rectifiers. So the rectifier is a electronic circuit which is used to convert. alternating current that is current which is changing the direction to unidirectional current that is current which is not changing its direction so um, the it is the one of the important important portion of the or uh, important block of the regulated dc power supply that is by using this circuit we are converting ac to dc the remaining after after coming on the blocks are to um, control or the regulate the uh, amplitude of the dc power supply as a constant but here the conversion process is happening so um, we can see detail about this one in the major component of this rectifier is nothing but diode the electronic device diode so the heart of the, the Electronic circuit. This electronic circuit that is rectifier. It is diode. And what is the major application of this diode? Diode. The for a diode we are say it is a switch. Electronic switch. Diode is a is an electronic switch. It is allow and flow of current only in one direction. That property we are using here. And by using that property we are converting AC signal to DC. So this is the symbol. Circuit diagram of a half wave rectifier. 230 volt is input and 50 hertz is the the supply volt and frequency of the signal and output we are getting in DC signal. The how it is operating? What uh, how the circuit is operating? To understand that one, if we can take this diagram. In this diagram, take first half cycle. The signal is coming, input signal is coming, and the first half cycle of the AC signal. This is the first half cycle of AC signal. So this is the first half cycle. So first half cycle. Like this, above this uh, uh, line, above this horizontal line means the direction of flow from one direction, that is positive and negative, is like this, and the direction of current is like from positive to negative, that is upper side is positive and lower side is negative. For uh, normally we are taking the uh, uh, the uh, this. Sign conversion, uh, sign mm, as like this. Above is positive and below is negative. Means mm, the direction of flow from positive to negative, and that waveform will show above the horizontal line. And if uh, its polarity is changed, this side is negative and this side is positive, and current flow means that waveform will show below this graph. Okay, so this is um, the first half cycle. And this side, upper side is positive and lower side is negative, and the current is flowing from up, uh, upper side to lower side. And that one we are showing that the waveform is above this horizontal line. And then this this is a transformer. Transformer working based on mutual induction. Wherever it is positive, that positive polarity that will transfer to the second row of transformer means here it is positive. And here it will be negative. Okay. Then, when this is positive and this is negative, the positive coming to the anode side of the diode and negative coming to the cathode side of the diode means the positive coming to P side and negative coming to N side means diode is forward bias. And for a forward bias diode, ideally we are representing it as a short switch. So you can replace this 
diode as a short switch. Then if it is a short switch, what will happen is the current will flow through this device and that current will reaches uh, that current will pass through this resistor in this direction. So the direction of current from top side to bottom side. Current direction is constant. It is top to bottom side. So whatever the waveform here, that waveform will get across this resistor. Across this resistor. So we are getting a half side like this. Like this. Okay. And its direction is from top to bottom. And then <coughs> come into the negative half cycle. Then the negative half cycle is coming. So the first one we got it is a, it is like this. When negative half cycle is coming, that time the polarity will change. So the first half cycle we got the supply like this. Then when negative half cycle it is coming like this then polarity will change the upper side will be negative and lower side will be positive this is the new polarity this new polarity will transfer to the secondary of the transformer again we can analyze the diode negativity come to the anode of the diode p side of the diode positive come to the cathode of the diode that is n side of the diode that is positive to p n side and negative to p side means diode in reverse bias simply ideally we can say diode is open circuit so there is no diode here then since diode is open circuit there won't be any current flow through this path since the current flow through this path is zero the <coughs> Power we are getting across this resistor, the signal we are getting across this resistor, that is zero. There is voltage across this resistor is I into R and where I equal to zero due to that reason I into R that is equal to zero, we are getting zero value of current. Okay. Zero value of current here. Again, the uh, next half cycle is coming. Next half cycle means it is the same positive half cycle then when next to positive half cycle coming the this side will be become positive and lower side become negative and i would become short circuit <coughs> current will flow from top to bottom we will get the same signal so its meaning is the current flow from top to bottom only in the reverse half cycle, the negative half cycle, current flow is zero. Positive half cycle, current flow from top to bottom. Means here, in the current flow, the positive half cycle, current flow from post, uh, top to bottom. Negative half cycle, current flow from bottom to top. This movement of current flow, now converted to unit direction, it is from top to bottom. So, now the direction of current is in one direction. This Due to that reason, we can say this circuit is converted alternating current to unidirectional current that is AC signal to DC signal. Okay, that is the working of half wave rectifier. And the, there is some, uh, there is a lot of uh, disadvantage for this circuit. Due to that reason, we are going to full wave rectifier. And the full wave center tap rectifier is steady as uh, assignment because that is not coming in this topic. Actually, we have to take only the full wave bridge rectifier. But anyway, I, uh, uh, I just discussed the half wave rectifier. For so this full wave rectifier, you can easily an an analyze this one. Instead, <coughs> here we are taking a uh, center tap transformer compared to. Uh, half a rectifier here we require center tap transform positive zero negative again positive zero negative like that is polarity is changing and the 
at the end we are getting always current flow happen from this positive to negative only whether it is full um, positive half cycle or negative half cycle current flow is from positive to negative so we get the waveform like this hmm. then what is the difference between this waveform and this one or what is the advantage to understand that one see this diagram Consider there is a, <coughs> a signal, it has voltage. So first second it has voltage 1 volt, second second it has voltage 2 volt, third second it has voltage 3 volt, again fourth second it has voltage 1 volt, fifth second it has voltage 2 volt, like that it is moving. So actually what is the average value of voltage or you can say first second it is 10, uh, 1 electron is moving, second and uh, second it is 2 electron is moving. 3rd second 3 electron is moving, 4th second 1 electron, 5th second 2 electron. Then what is the average number of electrons are moving? How we can calculate? Take the total sum of the amplitude. 1 electron, 2 electron, 3 electron, 1 electron, 2 electron. It is 9 electrons are moving. For how much duration? 5 seconds. So 9 by 5. Average 1.8 electrons are moving. Or you can say average 1.8 volt we have. For 5 seconds. Similarly, if you are taking this one, first half cycle we are getting Vm signal, then next half cycle we are getting 0 signal, again next half cycle we are getting Vm signal, like this. So, what is the average of this signal? That how we can calculate, take the, find out the area of this half cycle, and area of this half cycle is 0. Sum of the area of these two half cycle that is same this half cycle only and divide that one by the total time period. Then you can see the average of this waveform that is this waveform. We are considering only one half cycle and zero value. When we are taking this one, one full positive half cycle and zero cycle, average of this waveform is. 0.318 Vm that is 31 percentage of this maximum amplitude. Its meaning is average of this waveform. We can say average of this waveform. Average of this waveform. Average of this half a waveform is 0.31 that is 30 percent. 30 percent, 31 percentage of peak value. So, this 31 percent, what is the importance of this one? 31 percentage means when you are converting a <coughs> AC signal to DC signal by using half a rectifier, you will get only 31 percentage of DC value. But if you are taking the same by using a full wave rectifier, you are getting this pulsating this n this n n this this shape signal then if you are taking the average you have area here again you have area here again you have area here you have signal here sum of these three area and divided by this total time that will be always greater than this one because here there is no any signal Compared to that one, the, the signal is, this amplitude will be higher. And that is 0.61, I think 0.61 new DC. So the DC value is greater in full wave rectifier. This is the major reason we are moving to half wave to full wave. Along that, some other disadvantage also there. Anyway, the center tap to full tape rectifier is steady by yourself. Next class. I will deal with the full wave bridge rectifier. Okay, thank you.